Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Olivia Palmero look. She has beautiful makeup and I think she always looks flawless on the red carpet. So it's a look that I personally like as well and I would wear myself. So let's get started and I'll show you how to create this look. The first thing I'm going to use for this look is the RMK Liquid Foundation. This is a foundation that I've used in my kit for quite a few years now and I really love the formula. It's quite an unknown, it's sold in Selfridges in the UK and you can buy it online. Um, the reason I love this is it comes in, I think the number one shades are quite yellowy and the number two shades um, are quite pinky so there's quite there's something of everyone. I think the shade range is quite good and the formula is beautiful, it's almost like elastic skin, it has a kind of satin, um, in between satin and dewy but it's very real skin looking but you can still build the coverage so I'm going to use this first. So I'm just starting with the shade 101 on the back of my hand so I'm just going to go in and start buffing up through my skin. I'm using a MAC stipple brush and I'm just going to pop that all over my skin. So Olivia is a little bit more tan than me but I think I am kind of in my winter skin tone now so I'm a little bit paler than I am normally. The next thing I'm going to use is my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Medium Ash, my trusty favourite. I think I've been using this quite a lot at the minute on myself. And I'm just going to brush my brows up first with the spoolie. And I think if you look at Olivia's eyebrows, they almost have, they're not too thick. They're quite sort of thin to medium and they sort of have a nice shape here and there's a little bit of kick in the arch before they go out. So I'm just going to recreate that now with my eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to fill in any gaps. I don't really want to make my eyebrows larger. If I'm doing my own eyebrows, usually I do do them a bit larger. So I'm just filling in, I'm kind of giving a bit of a high kick in the arch, but not going too far over the actual brow so that it stays um, quite small. And I'm just going to go from the tip of the arch, and rather than kind of following my natural brow, I'm going to pull it out a little bit more, so I'm just feathering that out a little bit using my comb on the back of the spoolie, and I'm just pushing the hairs that I have that kind of come this way into the same direction. So I think that's about where I want the brow, to about there, so it's just a little bit more tidy. Moving on to eyes, and the first thing I'm going to use is this eyeshadow by Trish McAvoy, which is Glaze Eyeshadow in Cafe Latte. Taking the eyeshadow, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush, so like a NARS 13 brush, and I'm just going to pop like a wash of that over the lid. So I'm just using quite a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to start patting that over the lid. So. It's all quite soft, like I said, you want it more like a faint shadow. And then just rub a little bit off on the back of your hand, and then go in again with that same brush and buff whatever's left through the socket. So it should be a really, really faint amount of eyeshadow. The next shadow I'm going to use by Trish McAvoy also is the Definer in Mahogany, which is a really nice kind of ready, warm brown. So I'm going to use this with a quite small um, NARS number 12 brush, and I'm just going to pop that really close to the lash line and just use that to warm up the eye a little bit. So I'm kind of going all over the lash line, just doing little circles really, and then kind of feathering that up towards the outer corner. Then take a MAC 217 and just buff that in to where you've already got your eyeshadow underneath. Then there's one more product I'm going to use eyeshadow wise before I go on to liner and that is one of these new ombre matte eyeshadows by Clarins and this is in 06 Earth which is a kind of cream to powder shadow and they are very long lasting so I really like this and I'm going to smudge this really close to the lash line. And for that I'm going to use a MAC, uh, I think this is 266 brush and I'm just going to press this into my lash line and just kind of flick it upwards as I put it on. So I'm just going along the lash line and I'm just kind of flicking that upwards so that the lash line has a nice kind of darkness to it. Just work that into the outer third on the bottom lash line with what's left on that MAC brush. Once you get to this stage, you want to take um, Sepia Ink by Bobbi Brown, which is one of their long wear gel liners, and you're going to do a thin line across the top of that. So I'm going to take the same MAC brush I use for the eyeshadow, save you washing too many brushes. Looking down. And by using a darker brown, this is where you get that kind of soft Olivia Palmero look. So I'm not going to flick it out too much. But I do want it kind of thicker on the outer corner. I'm going to go in quite near the lash line and I'm doing a little flick so I'm pulling it outwards and it's a very very small flick and I want this to go right into the inside corner but to be really thin on the inside corner and then go inside the tight line as well just so you've got a nice dark lash line. 
So now you've got that eyeshadow on, hopefully you can see now where you've gone over with the liner by going in with those kind of two warmer shadows, it almost makes the liner look a bit more hazy. So rather than looking like a kind of perfect um, flick, so to speak, it's more of a kind of definition along the eyeliner, um, but you've got that nice kind of smoked out feeling where the liner is. Next in is one of my favourite mascaras, which is the Scandal Queen Mascara, and it's the Fairy Drops, which is one of the biggest selling mascaras in Japan, and I can see why. I did a whole blog post on this, which I will link below so you can have a look, but I just am obsessed with this mascara at the minute. It has these kind of really nice little sort of three baubles on, and it just coats lashes perfectly. So I don't think I'm going to curl my lashes today because I've still got a bit of lift in them from where I had LVL treatment um, probably about seven weeks ago now. It seems to last really well on me. Um, so I'm going to start doing on the bottom lashes first. I'm going to put quite a bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm going to do everything concealer-wise last, I think. And you can see how well this coats the lashes. It really is an amazing mascara. So I'm doing quite a bit of mascara on the bottom. And then I'm going to go onto the top lashes as well with that same mascara. And I'm going to give a good couple of coats of mascara on the top lashes. I do really love this mascara. It lengthens, it holds a curl really well, and it's really black, it's beautiful. So the next stage is concealing, and for concealer today, I'm going to use the Clarins 01. This is the instant concealer, which I've really been liking. I think for a 15ml tube, you actually get a lot of product in this, which is quite good. So I'm just gonna tap a bit on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna use my ring finger, and I'm just gonna tap that under my eyes. So you can see where I'm popping it quite low down, so I've got room to blend and I'm just going to tap that all the way up. And I'm going to sweep it under first and then just kind of build on it. But I'm just using the warmth of my fingers really to kind of melt that in a little bit. I do think as well as soon as you put concealer on that is when the magic happens and makeup just really comes together then. Next thing I'm going to go in with is my one heck of a blot by Soap and Glory which is just a really nice translucent powder that I've been enjoying at the minute. I'm going to use a smaller art shop brush for that, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of powder on there and I'm just going to feather that under the eyes just so that it's nice and set. But this brush will make sure that it only applies a very small amount which is great. So a little bit around the nose just to set. And then I'm going to apply a little bit actually over the cheeks because I want to use some powder bronzer. The bronzer I'm going to use is by YSL and I think this is called Tier Saharian and it's just the bronzing powder in number 20 and it's a very warm ready toned brown so perfect with this kind of eye colour or I think like when Olivia has a tan she probably does wear something a bit warmer. So I'm using that on a Sensai brush and I'm just going to start buffing that through my cheeks just to warm up my complexion because like I said I'm quite a bit paler at the minute than probably what Olivia is. So I'm going to put that through the planes of my face, so kind of on the cheekbones, on my chin, and down my nose, and take that over the forehead as well actually, just so everything starts to warm up a lot more, and you can see that instantly brings more definition back to my face as well. And I think what I've noticed Olivia seems to do quite a lot is she has kind of bronzer, and then she has like a really nice kind of warm pink just in the middle to give that nice freshness to the skin. So I'm going to put the lip on before I add any blusher just to see if we do need it and for lip liner I'm going to use the Burberry Lip Definer in Nude Beige uh, 01. And I'm literally just going all over my lip with that. I'm then going to apply lipstick by Burberry which is number 212 Lip Mist in Nude Peach which is this really beautiful nude that I've been loving at the minute. I'm going to pop that just with the bullet kind of roughly over the lip. And I think this goes really well with those nice kind of warm tones. So last but not least, I'm gonna add one more product which is by Trish McAvoy, which is her Blush in Natural. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on the back of a Japanese brush and I'm just gonna add that kind of to the apples of the cheeks. So just that little bit of extra warmth, but it's quite a small amount that I'm using. And you can use your powder brush as well if you feel you need to blend anything, or just to help you soften anything you might need to soften as well. So I'm just going to go around anything that could have potential edges. And so that's the finished look, guys. I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon for more tutorials. And also, don't forget to, you can subscribe to my blog, at Blog Loving, for Harry Makes It Up. So um, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks very much. Bye.